concentrated case study of the essence of art itself. What is jazz? What jazz is, is the animal up your ass that makes you want to say hello to the rest of the world. Would you like, um, like poetry reviews of like naked women and naked men and like uh, fireworks and guns and like... Yeah, like, please, yeah! Down with Daniel Tation! visited using the Object Paradise TV package. Thank you for purchasing. You will get one channel free. For me it's boring actually. What would make poetry more interesting? I don't Tools. know. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have a clue. So we envisioned a more rock and roll poetry scene that uh, accompanied sex, music, crying, performance, art, and uh, here we are. In Object Paradise, our main goal is to ha create something in the moment. And that is what is this album is about. Because we're not just making music, but we're making music in the moment. Most of the things we did is improvise, actually. So, actually. I'm 26, 26 year old today. Yeah, I'm going go up and get it. All the bitches who smoke with all the... Tonight is the night we'll answer the question what poetry is. Like, I, I feel like at this point, I don't actually believe it's a thing. Can I call it poetry? Maybe, but it's really, do you call it poetry once you hear it? What the fuck is going on, man? Are we even in my fucking... Žižka. Vidíš, co drží more? Fuck the camera guy. Because you were so long before, I trust. Of course, even these actions on the screen might work better if there were music of some sort related to them. Is jazz... Jazz?
got a squat. You got a squat. You got to drop it low. <laughs> This is one kind of action that I have been exploring. Asymmetrical, not center-oriented, a fluid kind of motion that is not stuck in one place. It's, poetry is about the, the flourishing of life when constrained to communication. We're going to do this thing uh, where we're going to, everybody start playing at the same time. And this is going to sound quite chaotic but I want everybody to uh, end up on the same exact note. Yeah, so I, I just wrote on here in Prague, we just, um, I just recorded this, this poem on an album, actually, that we're, we're releasing with our collective. Oh, very, uh, so. very cool, so, so what's it about? It's, um, it's, it's about like uh, the concept that poetry doesn't exist. Um, and I... Comparisons with either language or music are tenuous at best. For example, this simple succession of the same graphic figure or word over itself again and again is certainly not producing anything like the effect of musical canon and is without parallel in linguistics. One considerable problem has to do with the matter of real time. Þetta gæti allir stjórnarslitum, við erum ekki allar eins þótt þið haldið það. Sumar okkar hata að skúra, aðrar okkar elska það. Sumar okkar hata það sem láta okkur skúra svo mikið að þær vilja láta þá skúra. Sumar hata skúringana sjálfur og vilja engin þurfa að skúra framar. Sumar elska að skúra og vilja láta alla aðra skúra líka. Þegar skúrin kona að taka völdum mun allir fórstjörar heimsins þurfa að vinna launalaus yfirnu við að nutta þeim bakið, axlinar og öklana. Þegar skúrin kona að taka völdin verður heimurinn tandur reynd. The project started during quarantine, during the lockdown of the, because of the COVID-19 and we all missed being outside, we all missed being with the people we love, we missed you know, socializing, we missed having events, we missed gathering. <laughs> Oh yeah, I feel yeah, I feel great. It was very, very refreshing after all the time in the lockdown, you know. Yeah. Do you see a place for men in the future? No. Men want younger women. Women want younger men. We all wish we were younger. We had so much fun back then. All right, this is a very controversial interview. I, I don't know where to go with this, but uh, apparently there's only lesbians in the future. <laughs> oh, do you swing know it. Me? I own Paradise TV, and I am here with Madame Sandra. <laughs> and, Sandra, I would like to ask you some questions. So where are we right now? We are in front of Medium 43 in Shishkov. I what is the name of the street? But the street is great, it's so loud. You can hear some drunk assholes playing guitars right over there. She holds up all the bread in back. It's a pretty poetic place. You can see on the bench a small one, and the little one, and the big one. And then people around will follow you to your house. Uh, we went to a lot of poetry readings that were just 
turtlenecks and chairs, and we decided to make something a little bit more rock and roll. <laughs> Everything is hap, 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 happy birthday, coronavirus, say! Oh. I want to kiss you at the tram stop and ride all the way to Sweetwater, West Virginia. I hate seeing you in this country, city, tram stop. At least I know the bars you are banned from, where he is banned from, and you know the bars where I am banned from. I want to kiss you there, here, and never see you again. We're very happy. We're trying to get into this groove with the whole band. Everybody starts to improvise and, uh, you know, like half an hour late after we started everybody was already like very connected very in tune it is that broad there's any interaction among persons that is all poetry involving as it does balance contrast tension and resolution all brought into play with minimum expenditure Depends on the situation and on the on the mood and the sound and yeah, like can't really pick up one thing because it's all together happening and mm -hmm. it's like maybe it's a bit like a meditation. Uh, for me, it's real paradise. It's so much, so artistic, and I'm so surprised how broad the spectrum of uh, poems and uh, emotions and music is uh, contained inside of uh, Object Paradise. It might be carried a step farther by showing how we might relate and harmonize two or more actions that run simultaneously. Ale to přece můžete dál ještě daleko méně, ale mohu. Většinu jich umím na svámi. A když vyšlo slunce, nepohnul se, jen otevřenou podívejte. You know, I mean, sometimes you eat corn and then you poop and you're like, there's corn in my poop. It's okay, darling. Happens. It's not true. It's what happens when everyone meets corn, but no one is willing to admit it, except for Kant. Yes, it was part of his... I think it was part of his Love dialectics of ethics or... Rather, rather, rather. Yeah. That was, uh, that was an original. Thank you very much. Here is a simple and obvious and quite infallible kind of polygraphic relationship. Everybody can be a part of the performance. We don't want to have uh, a regular poetry event where one person reads and everybody listens, but we like to create other things at the same time. When you listen to it, you hear the nightlife in Prague and mainly in the Zhishkov area where a lot of expats live, where a lot of artists and poets and musicians live. Uh, so that was our main goal, to put everybody in this project together. It smells like fish. <laughs> That's what fish do. It's uh, like a rock concert of poetry. Uh, there are some people who are like, there are some people who 
sit down and think compared to classic poetry, which is really to uh, let the message sink in and appreciate uh, every single word. So it, yeah, it's like maybe it's more popular. It uh, it brings people together. getting hot in here. I hope you are ready for some truth. Why do you think poetry is boring? Because it's so boring and it doesn't pay rent. What's happening all the time? I don't know, but I'm there for it. Yeah, as long as nobody gets killed. <laughs> what would make uh, poetry Can more you interesting in here? your perspective? Uh, British accent. Welcome to uh, Object Paradise TV. Sometimes you, you can say, I need blood. Or you can say, I need blood, you know. But this paradise still has to be confusing. Otherwise, the poetry and the music, it would just be bland if we had the answer. Shishka! Have you seen the girls dressed in flower dresses again? And your hospudas? They are filled with patrons who can say, Yes, the Pesky Vetsche, Baluya Jibo. I love life. Give me another. The first time you went to shit talk, you never came back to see. Perhaps if these actions were structured with still greater contrasts of motion and scale, and some as yet unknown qualities, they might be developed through variations that we could recognize and respond to directly and emotionally. Standing here on top of the world, the Zizhkov, the center of the universe, after we fucked up the genetic testing, we tried to create the next gods, but instead we created a virus, the virus that is eating you from inside out. <laughs> you have to let it eat your insides, your insides can regrow, but your mind can't. Proper skate parks. Proper skate parks. Proper skate parks for life. <laughs> Jazz. just spinning in circles and uh, how do you feel about spinning in circles? I feel great! <laughs> Starting with recorded history, I suppose we have had as much experience creating melodies as creating poetry. But who has experienced the satisfaction of composing more than a fragment 
and this new audiovisual art. Uh, the most recent mass that has come up in the European Union and in the American uh, news cycle. Chinatown. You look at me, me at you, you at me, and laughter immediately overdosed. As IPA in that garage, smile is gorgeous. Keep the sun in the trunk and leave their naked photo. A perfect heritage. And Alex cut for some drugs and some weapons. Nice but lonely. We won't hang out, cause the motel is perfect for a sexual intercourse. And I've learned that people cheat when serving whiskey. No more rocks in the glass. Smile is gorgeous. After all, one of the few things we know about the absolute is that there is a relative inaccessibility. It is the point of spirit furthest from every accessible point of spirit in all directions. Like the others, it is a pole of the most trouble. It is also I take this as a given, the pole of great price. We made poetry, not love, and loved anywhere we could be at that moment, on the drunk tram hop home. You under pickled scarf, me in black hat, conspiring with slop spine, the air in our lungs while on red chair of tram. We made poetry, not love. We watched pigeon drink from puddle where cobble was. It was love, always love. We couldn't raise our elbows past our mouths and we wore lipstick and got chased all love struck in the domu night. Heard me cry, heard me cry, or at least could have, would have let you, would have told you, hands on shoulders, that it was all right, check no dopey. And when you came home from Red Caravan, after the long overhaul, your eyes were wide and you told us you peeled and boiled rabbit mane, alone, cold, and home all alone, and you were so keen on picked bazooka. And it was all poetry, and I loved you, and it was all right. Such a nice story when I hear you tell it. And when we met for the first time, we shook hands, and your hair was wild long, and I went home not knowing what trouble the world would be in, nor what demands these memories would have. We made poetry, not love, hun. Never leave a good party for another one, hon. Learned that one the hard way, hon, didn't we, in Vichatican, on the long walk until the world made us lonely again, hon. There's too much love in this world, but we looked oh so good loving it, and what grand parties there were when we were young in the kitchen. Can't tell you how much it meant to me to depend on you and for you to be there again and again, what it means, a single sentence. It's all right, hunt. And now I live where you lived, and you live where you live, and you left mad scribbles in the notebooks in my cupboards, and I read them and feel shy and handle your handwriting and palm of hand like real poetry, like traces of boar and wild green field, your handwriting, somehow new and new. We explored the world like real boys, got naked and let it make love to us, hun. It was all poetry, it was all right.
simply. Poo rhymes with two. So whether you believe <laughs> taking the Browns to the Super Bowl is number two, because a past classroom tradition is a less common form of waste. Or because, come on, motherfucker, it's less common form of waste. That's what I was talking about. Or because it rhymes with two, it seems as though the debate will remain open. But that was right. Learn something new every day. It's like it's it's less common form of waste. That's a, that's what I said. You pee more often than poo. But why why does two have to dic dictate something that you do less often? Because it's number two. <laughs> She, why do you no. we laugh? Why do we laugh? Because things are funny. <laughs> exactly. Okay. No. In Look. general, like you talk more She's about things that you do more right. often than things you do less of. Come Women on. do not pee and poop at the same time, and men do. You you just create your own theory because I you're just sexist. I found this out. <laughs> I always the biggest. This but this is literally <laughs> all English speakers on earth. <laughs> didn't know that. They rock! In helping one Do you pray when you surf? No men These knew. muscles have dual functions, holding urine and stool in and passing urine and stool to the outside world. <laughs> <laughs> the muscles that help to hold in our stool are stronger and larger than the muscles to hold in our urine. Thank God. The primary uh, muscles. <laughs> well, it's true. Uh, this is a new thing that I found out today, uh, but you learn something new every day. But apparently women do not pee and poop at the I same like time. The like what are you going to do? So when women poop, they don't also pee a little bit, and that's not why it's called number two? You would think that it would be called number one and number two because you do one of them all the time, and it's the first thing, and then you have to do the second thing. So you're doing two things at one time, like we've talked about. But apparently, women do not poop and pee at the same time. It's less common form of waste. That's so what we were talking about. Right? That's the point. It's no disgrace. <laughs> it's no disgrace to have we a little power. We already had it out. Yeah. We knew where number two came from the whole time. Okay, sound like, let's go. Hey, your best singer is number one. And you're...